Club Express Discussion Forums Using the Forums This video is an introduction to Club Express Discussion Forums, mostly from a user's point of view. There are two companion videos that cover how forums are set up and configured by administrators and how they can be moderated. Club Express includes a powerful discussion forums module, allowing members to participate in online discussions on a variety of topics. Original messages and their replies are organized into threads that are listed within each forum. Forums, in turn, are grouped into categories, allowing a club or association to organize forums for different purposes. Forums can optionally be configured as an email list, also called a list server, that push email messages out to forum members' email boxes and allow members to reply via email. The reply is posted to the forum and then sent back out to every forum member. But these forums can also be viewed online like any other forum and are fully integrated into the rest of Club Express. Organizations have full control over forum membership. Forums can be defined where all members have access by default, or where members can opt in, or where forum membership is very targeted and updated automatically. Club Express supports both flat and threaded views, message posting icons, forum handles, which are the names the user wants to use for the forum, message attachments, user pictures, and many user configurable options. There is also a full suite of administration tools at the forum, thread, and message level. Forums can be configured to be moderated, where new messages must first be approved before they're made visible. Individual members can also be moderated so that only their messages must be approved. Administrators and moderators can also block members from posting completely if they're not following the forum rules. Forums can be placed on the public side of the club's website to make their content available to any visitor, but in this position they'll be read-only. All editing functionality is disabled. Let's take a look at forum navigation. The discussion screen shows the forum categories and forums defined by your organization. Each forum includes a brief description of the forum's purpose, the number of threads and posts in the forum, and the date and time of the last post. The My Forum Memberships button is a quick way for you to manage settings for the forums you use. We'll come back to this later. The Search button lets you search for specific messages. The Our Forums Policy button, if shown, views the club's policies for maintaining harmonious and smoothly running forums. Clicking a forum name displays a list of threads in the forum. Each row is a separate thread showing the author of the first post, the thread subject, number of messages in the thread, the number of times the thread has been viewed, and the date and author of the most recent post. You can change the sort order by clicking the subject and last post headings. Clicking on a heading a second time changes the direction of the sort. A thread can be pinned to the top of a form so it's always visible. Pinned threads are shown with a different background color and a pin icon. If messages were posted to a forum since your last visit, a special symbol is displayed in the last post column. If there are more threads in the forum that will fit on a single screen, based on the number of messages per screen configured in your profile, the previous, next, and paging controls will be active, allowing you to move to any page of threads. A quick way to select a different forum is by clicking the Go To Forum drop-down in the top right corner. Some forums are configured so that all active members can automatically participate. Some may be automatically available to members of a specific committee, interest group, member type, organization subgroup, or based on information in additional member data. Other forums may be configured so that members have to explicitly opt into joining through the forum membership sections of their profile screen and some forms may be available only to a group of people defined by the moderators. If you have permissions to start a discussion, a Start New Thread button appears in the top left corner, and you can modify your preferences for this forum by clicking the My Forum Preferences button. You can search the current forum by entering a value in the Search This Forum box and clicking the Go button. All entered words must be present in the message for a match to be made. For example, searching for red, blue, green finds messages containing all three words, but you do not need to enter any special keywords. The help screen has instructions for advanced search options.
The search results show up to 100 matches. The list includes the message subject, author, and date and time posted, as well as the form in which the message appears and the first few lines of the message body. When you click the link in the subject column, it'll take you directly to that message. Click Return to Search to go back to the search screen, and previous search values and form selections will be remembered. To start a discussion, click the Start New Thread button. You may initially see the simple text-only message editor. You can change your form preferences to replace this editor with the advanced editor that includes formatting tools. We'll come back to that later. Specify the subject and optionally a message icon from the drop-down list. Then enter the message text. If attachments are allowed in a forum, click the paperclip icon at the bottom of the window to attach a file. Click the Select File button and select the file from your computer or network, and it will be added to the message. If you want to add another file, click the Select button again. You can attach up to 10 files to each message. If you want to remove a file, click the Remove button below that file name. Note that if you view a message as an email, attachments are shown as links, so you must be connected to the internet to actually view or save those attachments. When you click on Post Message, the message will be added to the forum. Note that if you're moderated in the forum, or the forum as a whole is moderated, you'll see a New Thread Saved Pending Review message displayed after you create and save the post. The post will only be visible after a moderator has reviewed and approved the post. If no moderation is required, the message is immediately visible. Clicking a thread subject lets you view the individual messages within a thread. There are two views available, threaded and flat. Threaded view shows the original message at the top of the screen, with the thread list underneath showing the hierarchy tree of messages and replies. If the message has attachments, they're listed below the body of the message. Clicking the attachment link allows you to open or save the file. Any new messages since your last visit are flagged with a special symbol. If the member who has posted a message has enabled this option, you can click his or her name to display a bio in a pop-up window. This view respects the author's predefined visibility settings. You can also view messages in a flat view. This view shows every thread message fully expanded. You can't see the hierarchy of messages, but it's easier to browse and read everything in chronological order. You can click Last Post to sort the messages either with the original post or the latest post at the top. In your forum preferences, you can separately configure the number of messages to display per page. If there are more messages that can be shown on one page, the previous, next, and paging controls will be active, allowing you to move to any page of messages within the current thread. When the option to subscribe to a thread is enabled, you will see a subscribe button at the top of the screen. Click it to subscribe to the thread. Whenever new messages are posted to the thread, you'll be notified by email. If you're already subscribed, the button changes to unsubscribe. Click it to no longer receive notifications by email. There is also a screen in your profile to view and update all forum thread subscriptions. Note that members can only subscribe to a thread if this option has been enabled for the forum. If the forum is configured as a list server, where forum posts are emailed to members, subscriptions are only available if the member is not already receiving each forum message by email. Members will receive the complete posting via email. If the forum is not configured as a list server, subscriptions are always available. Members receive notification about a new posting, including a link to the site to read the message. If a thread is deleted, a subscription to that thread is also deleted. If a thread is moved to another forum, the subscription will be moved as well. Subscription messages always use the member's primary email address from the member contact info screen. Below each message is a list of options. To reply to a message, click Reply. In this case, the user's forum's preferences specified that an advanced editor be displayed instead of the basic text editor. This version of the editor lets you control text formatting, add photos, links, and has spell checking. If the sender of the message to which you're replying allows private replies, you'll see a Reply Type option at the top of the screen. 
You can either reply as a message to the forum or send private reply via email. If you send a private reply, the screen will include a CC field with your email address listed by default. You can leave it as is to receive an email copy of your message or change it or blank it out. If you click the quote previous message link, the system opens a dialog box with the contents of the message you are replying to. You can then edit the content, perhaps to remove parts of the message that are not relevant to your comments. When you submit the quote, it will no longer be editable. When you click post message, the message is saved and sent either to the forum or if you click private reply as an email to the other member. If you want to show that you like the content of a message, click the like link. If you change your mind, click it again to remove your like. If you're the message's author and the forum is configured to allow editing, you can click edit to revise the message. And if you think a post is inappropriate or spam, click report this post so a moderator or administrator can be alerted about the message. In addition to posting threads by clicking a start a thread button, forum members can start new threads by sending an email to the forum's email address if the forum has been set up to allow posting via email. You can find the email address of a forum that allows starting threads by email by visiting the forum membership section of your profile. You can access this either by clicking on the My Forum Memberships button on the main forum screen or by a link in the forum section of your profile. Forum members can also reply to messages sent from the forum via email. There is a header included in each message that includes a link to the thread that the message belongs to. To start a new thread via email, email the address of the active forum that you are a member of. For example, buy sell at myclub.com. When your email is received, it will create a thread. The title of the thread will be whatever you have entered in the subject field of your email. You can also reply to a form message that you receive by email. Simply click the reply button in your email software. Make sure that you delete any extraneous text, other messages, footer information, etc. before you send the email. An important note, when you post a message to one or more of the forms via email, our server will look at the addresses in the to and cc fields to see if there is any match in a form that the server is managing. Note that in order for the message to be posted to the forum, you must send the message from the email account associated with your forum membership because messages from unknown email addresses are ignored. In addition, the from address will be verified against the forum membership list to ensure that you are allowed to post. Also note, if an incoming message has more than five attachments, it is posted with the first five attachments and a note is sent back to the sender that this was done. If a form does not allow attachments and an incoming message has them, it is posted without its attachments and a similar note is sent back to the sender. When discussion forums are available, a forum's general preferences choice is added to the user's profile screen. This choice allows you to control your individual preferences for viewing messages and threads, authoring messages, and the personal information that's displayed. A second choice, forum memberships, allows you to subscribe to forums and unsubscribe as well, and to customize your preferences in each forum that you're a member of. A thread subscriptions link takes you to a screen where you can manage email notifications for individual threads for which you are currently subscribed. Discussion forums are a great way for your members to ask questions and share information. Club Express forums can be made widely available or have very targeted audiences. Forms can be configured to start and to reply to discussions via the web and optionally via email. Email notifications make it easy to keep up with the most current discussions. Be sure to check out the companion videos. They look at forms from the moderator and administrator's points of view. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.